What is a line of sight radio? You may have heard the term before, but what does it mean? And why should you care? In layman's term, line of sight means that your transmitter and receiver can see each other. High frequency radio waves travel like light does to your eye, which means there cannot be obstructions in the way such as mountains, buildings, trees, tunnel walls, or especially as the distance between radios increases, the curvature of the earth, which makes you wonder, how do line of sight radios deal with issues like these? How do we get through obstructions without changing the laws of physics? Well, consider this. Your mobile phone is a line of sight radio. If mobile phone providers put their cellular radios near the ground, you'd have to be standing right beside them to make your call. So instead, they build tall towers or send satellites into space, giving you that full network bar connection. In terms of increasing range, increasing power won't always help if the antenna is not high enough. Lifting the antenna even five feet vertically can increase your range from a few hundred feet to over a mile. In simplest terms, the higher your radio, the further away your communications horizon will be. Now, here's where it gets tricky. It is possible to go over buildings and mountains, but in practice there are logistical problems that make it difficult. A. Building towers that are high enough so your communications line is uninterrupted. And B. Obtaining licenses for high-powered radios to properly transmit the signal in one hop. To overcome this, legacy radio systems use what's known as a repeater, which is a high-power transmitter usually located on a tower that provides more flexibility by allowing the signal to be rebroadcast or hop once between transmitter and receiver. On a large scale, a repeater can help you hop over a mountain. On a much smaller scale, a repeater could help your Wi-Fi signal hop around a corner into the next room. But the drawback with these is that, well, they only allow you one hop which is the same problem faced in tunnels, since not only do we have corners and turns, but also slopes up and down. So raising your antenna higher above obstacles isn't always an option, and often one hop is not enough. Traditionally, the solution to this has been, well, less than innovative. If your mining operation is big enough to justify the investment, set up a wired network infrastructure, which is expensive, time-consuming, and immobile. The good news is that nowadays, using wave relay wireless technology, just a handful of radios can get the job done. How? It's known as a mobile ad hoc network. Mobile meaning the radios can move around, and ad hoc meaning you can build the network any way you want on the fly. And what that means, in the simplest terms, is that every single radio in the network is a transmitter, receiver, and repeater, which literally means each radio added to your network strengthens it and setting up one, two, or even ten radios is fast, easy, and requires little to no special configuration, which makes obstructions like mountains, buildings, and tunnels, well, not a problem at all. You can hop multiple times and the network will adapt to changing environments and continue to offer seamless connectivity. If you're interested in the future of line-of-sight radio technology, you owe it to yourself to visit www.persistentsystems.com and see Wave Relay in action.